Lesson 1. A case study of London to illustrate the importance of the city in the UK and the wider world. The City of London in the United Kingdom is one of the most popular cities in the world and has been considered to be such since time immemorial. Almost anyone in the world would know or at least heard of this city. This case study explains the reasons behind London being considered to be not only one of the most popular cities in the world, but one of the most important as well as not just in terms of local or global economic matters, but also in the fields of arts, sciences or even personal matters of the average traveller and local citizens. Employment, nightlife, entertainment, recreation and the appreciation and development of various fields will also be discussed. London as a global city, cities all over the world have various distinctions and classifications which cater to various areas of interest. One of the classifications of cities around the world is whether a particular city can be called a global city or not. A more formal definition for a global city, also known as a world city, alpha city or world centre, is a city which is considered to be a significant part or node of the global economic system. This concept originates from urban studies and geography and also relies on the idea that globalisation can be understood as largely created, facilitated and enacted in strategic geographic locations and based on carefully weighted and ranked importance to the operation of global systems of finance and trade. Although the qualifications for a city to be classified as a global city remains disputable, a globalisation and World Cities Research Network study has classified London as an Alpha++ plus plus city, which means it is one of the few cities that is vastly more integrated with the world economy than all other cities in the world. The only other city which unanimously qualifies as a global one is New York City in the United States of America. As previously mentioned, qualifications and standards set for a city to be classified as a global one are not rigid and are therefore still disputable. However, there are plenty of visible and obvious reasons that have led to London being considered as such most of the most deal with the cultural diversity and positive consequences that come along with it, and with the economic performance of the local on the local and global scale of the businesses that are based in the city. Having excellent connectivity and integrated transport systems, the most basic means of connecting one country to another, as well as enabling movement within a country, is through transportation systems. London is well known for its successful integration of various transport systems that take any traveller or local into, outside of and around a city with ease, and by the most practical time-saving and convenient means possible. This ease of transportation in the city allows for better business transactions, thus making the city more preferable among investors compared to other cities. London is a transport hub for many other destinations across Europe and the rest of the world. London's airport terminals see a total of more than 100,000 flights per month in and out of of them. This number of flights simply means that it is a favourable travel destination which brings benefits to the country as well as to travels themselves. Diversity of people and culture. One positive effect of this integrated transport system is that it allows people of different races and origins to get together and do business together in this country. It is implied that some of those who do business transactions in London would eventually decide to settle in the city for practical reasons. The diversity of people and culture in London is vast. Indeed, statistics gathered in 2011 show that a mere 45% of Londoners classify themselves as white British. The capital city also had both the largest proportion of residents born outside the UK, 37%, and non-UK nationals, 24%. This number seems to show no signs of dropping or slowing down, as it is and it is forecast that over the next 10 years, black, Asian and other minority ethnic groups from other parts of the world will constitute 80% of the rise in London's working age population. In a recent survey, residents of London 
have also been known to speak over 300 languages and belong to at least 14 different faiths or relig religious affiliations, most of which originated in other countries and have been brought by those who have decided to immigrate to the city. Presence of International Headquarters The City of London is home to 33% of European headquarters of global Fortune 500 companies. Over 40% of the world's foreign equities are traded in the city, which is much more than New York. More than 30% of the world's currency exchanges also take place in the City of London, which is a greater proportion than in New York, than in the United States of, and Tokyo in Japan combined. No less than 80% of businesses based in London are international. Due to the many local international business headquarters situated in the city, London generates approximately 20% of the UK's gross domestic product, GDP, which amounted to $446 billion. The economy of London metropolitan area, the largest Europe in Europe, generates approximately 30% of the UK's GDP, which was estimated to be about $669 billion in 2005. In conclusion, the characteristics of London presented above are enough to answer the question on why this city is so important, not only to the United Kingdom, but to the rest of the world as well. There are several factors which contribute to London being a thriving city. The reason why it is important to the United Kingdom is its importance to the world. Many countries would dream to have a city like London in their respective territories.